you what's going on? It's Mike from Chili Pepper Madness. Today in the Chili Pepper Madness kitchen, we are making Szechuan chicken. Uh, Szechuan chicken is a, uh, it's a Chinese recipe. You may have had it in uh, uh, Chinese restaurants or maybe if your favorite takeout. It's a super awesome, delicious comfort food. It's really just chicken that you uh, see, you do a light marinade on it and then you coat it in cornstarch. You're gonna fry it up in a pan and uh, just cook it up with some vegetables, some peppers. I'm using a lot of peppers here. And we're making a homemade Szechuan sauce that, uh, again, super easy to make, but it's easy to customize to the spice level that you prefer. And uh, this is great for a weeknight meal. Just crazy, yummy to me. So uh, uh, let me show you how to make it. All right, let's make some Szechuan chicken. First thing we wanna do is we wanna marinate our chicken. I have about a pound of chicken breast here, and you can use chicken thighs or a mix. Uh, boneless, and uh, I cut it into bite-sized pieces to make it easier to eat. <laughs> uh, so here I've got about a quarter cup of soy sauce and uh, just a little salt and pepper. Don't have to go crazy here, just a little salt. The soy sauce is pretty salty. And uh, some cracked uh, black pepper here. And we're just gonna mix it up, get this mixed. And uh, I'm gonna cover it, pop it into the refrigerator for about 30 minutes uh, or longer. You can actually do this overnight. I, I usually do this overnight. I'll uh, get it the night before or even the morning of. Set it, you know, get it marinating, set it in your fridge, uh, build all that delicious flavor, and then when you're uh, ready to cook, you just do it in the evening. So, uh, all right, let me pop this in the fridge and I will be right back. And then we are going to make our homemade Szechuan sauce. All right, so now let's make our homemade Szechuan sauce. Uh, the Szechuan sauce obviously is really key to this recipe. You're gonna get a lot of flavor. Uh, you can easily buy Szechuan sauce from the store or your favorite uh, Chinese place. Um, but it's so much better when you can make it at home because you can really control all the ingredients that go into it. And I like to make mine with a little bit extra spiciness to it as you uh, may be shocked to hear. So, um, all right, let's make it here. And I've got a quarter cup of soy sauce and I have my pan heated to a gentle sort of, sort of medium, medium low heat. You don't wanna go crazy with the heat. And I have some, a uh, couple tablespoons here of rice vinegar. And we have, uh, this is sesame oil. I've got a tablespoon of sesame oil. Love sesame oil. Huge flavor right there. And here we have ginger powder. And you can use fresh ginger as well um, if you have it. It's just delicious right there. And we have honey. I got about a tablespoon here of honey. And uh, of course, honey always takes a little while. Just pop that in. Delicious honey. All right, set that here. And here's a chili garlic sauce. I have about a tablespoon of chili garlic sauce. And you can use a little bit more of this if you want to, a little bit, little bit less too. It's a little spicy. Spicy is good here. And I have granulated garlic, about a tablespoon or so. Then you can use fresh as well. And I have a, uh, about a teaspoon, a little bit more than a teaspoon here of sriracha. Uh, pro I probably got more than that, but <laughs> I like extra spice. Uh, but again, that's to your own personal tastes. And here I have red chili flakes for a little bit of extra heat for myself. Uh, Szechuan sauce really isn't meant to be like hot spicy. It's really more flavor, um, but you know, I like it a little spicy. So here I've got uh, about a quarter cup, a little bit more of chicken stock right here. Got a little blend right here. And that's gonna add some body and flavor. And now these are some, um, some extra ingredients that I like to use. So I like, again, extra spicy. I have Chinese five spice. And Chinese five spice is a beautiful, delicious blend of seasonings. Adds a lot of flavor. And uh, here I have Szechuan peppercorns that I lightly toasted and ground. So it's really a Szechuan pepper. Uh, I'm gonna pop that in there. Uh, Szechuan pepper, I, I think it's actually pretty key to this recipe to get more authentic flavor. But um, if you're not a big fan of those flavors, you can use cracked black pepper as well, which, uh, which is very delicious too. So, uh, but you know, hey man, you wanna get the, the deliciousness as much as you can, right? So, okay, got my pan heated up and I'm just gonna whisk this all together and I'm gonna bring it to a real light, simple boil, dial back the heat and we're gonna let it simmer for a few minutes just to start to thicken up. And uh, then I'll kind of show you what it looks like and I'll show you how you can thicken it up even more to uh, make it nice and saucy and really stick to your chicken. So, uh, all right, I'll be right back. All right, the Szechuan sauce is simmering right here. Flavors are good, and you can see it's not a very thick sauce at this point. It's uh, pretty watery, and you can totally use it at this point. Very good, good flavors. It'll do exactly what you need. However, I like to thicken mine up a little bit because I like how it helps stick to the chicken. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I have some cornstarch here. Uh, I've got about a tablespoon, and here's a 
couple of tablespoons of water. And we're just gonna make a real simple cornstarch slurry. Um, it helps to mix the cornstarch with a little bit of water first to get all the lumps out of it. If you put cornstarch directly in, sometimes big lumps form and they're hard to get out. And you can strain them out, but it's just kind of a pain. So, oh, making a mess. Mike's making a mess, shocker. Okay, got this mixed and I'm gonna pour most of it into here. I got a little bit left there. So then go ahead and just mix this together and um, you just let it simmer for about a minute or two and it starts to thicken up. It's thickening up right away already. Like, look at that, I just, just popped it in. And if it gets too thick, just add a little bit of water, maybe a little bit of extra soy sauce. And uh, look at that, nice and thick. Look at that, guys. Boom, delicious. All right, I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna set this aside. And then we are gonna go ahead and cook up our chicken and peppers and vegetables. And uh, Szechuan chicken coming right up, super easy to make. All right, let's cook up our Szechuan chicken. I have our sauce made here and I've got everything all ready. My marinated chicken I popped over into a bowl. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're going to mix about a half cup of cornstarch with our uh, marinated chicken. That is going to uh, get a nice coating on here. Get it all nicely coated. It's gonna give a little texture to the chicken when we cook it in the pan, so. All right, so let me set this aside and we will heat up our pan and get cooking. All right, I got my chicken nicely coated. Now next I've got my pan heated up to a good medium, medium high heat. And I'm uh, just gonna add a tablespoon or maybe a little bit more of, uh, you can use sesame oil or olive oil is good here too. I like the extra flavor of the sesame oil. Get that heated up in the pan. All right, ooh, smell it, mm, delicious. And just pop your chicken right in. Whoop. Get a nice stir going here. And we're gonna cook this down, uh, cook the chicken through for about five minutes or so till, uh, till it's really mostly cooked through. Nicely marinated. I'll coat it up with the cornstarch and uh, it'll cook up pretty quickly in your good hot pan. So, all right, let me get this cooked up and we will be right back. All right, chicken is cooked up nicely. It's got some good crispy texture to it. So I'm gonna grab a bowl right here and we're just gonna pop this chicken into a bowl for now, set it aside. All right, so in the same pan here, now I've got a uh, good sized red bell pepper. Just gonna pop that in. And uh, any bell peppers are good. And uh, here I've got some jalapenos. I got about three good sized jalapeno peppers. And uh, you can use all bell peppers here if you want to, uh, or you can use other peppers. I, I like serrano peppers for mine, a little extra heat. Um, this is good for me and Patty, kind of a simple lunch level. Um, hey, throw some habaneros in there, pretty much any kind of hot peppers you're looking for. Add lots of flavor, texture, and uh, some delicious heat. So, uh, all right, cook this down for about five minutes to soften them up, and then we will continue on. All right, the peppers have softened up nicely, and you can add a little more oil to your pan if you need to. So, the next step here is I've got some whole Szechuan peppercorns, and uh, these are gonna add a lot of flavor. So, uh, if you're not a big fan of Szechuan peppercorns, you can skip that part of it, or you can add some just black peppercorns which does add a nice flavor. The uh, peppercorns themselves, the Szechuan peppercorns are pretty floral. And uh, here I've got about a quarter cup of chopped peanuts. Pop that into the bowl. And I'm using chili de arbol. Uh, these are some dried uh, Mexican peppers with a nice level of heat. I grabbed a good handful, maybe 10 of them or so. And um, you can add more or less. You can skip that part if you want to. Definitely bring a, a good level of heat. It's just delicious. And uh, we're just gonna cook this into the pan here with the vegetables for just about two minutes to kind of let those flavors bloom, bring out some of the heat and some of the flavor. And uh, you really will love the, uh, the peppercorns, Szechuan peppercorns. I mean, it adds more of an authentic flavor, uh, but it's definitely something you gotta try and see if you like it. Um, it's an acquired taste for some, so just to let you know. Okay, got this cooked down for a couple of minutes here, smelling delicious in here. Uh, next, I'm just gonna pop my chicken right back into the pan. Get that here, set it aside. And I have my prepared Szechuan sauce, homemade. And again, you can use store-bought if you want to, but uh, just so much better when you make it at home. So let me get this popped in. And just kind of mix it up and you're gonna heat it through in the pan. And uh, 
That's about it, guys. This is real easy to make. Just try not to knock everything out of the pan like I do. <laughs> uh, but the sauce, see how nice and thick it is and everything's getting super coated? Oh man, crazy delicious. Uh, and again, this is so easy to make. Like, Look at how quickly we whip this together. Um, it's great for a weeknight meal. If you have the sauce made ahead of time, boom. You can have your, uh, your dinner ready in like no time, really. So, all right, look it up. Doesn't it look good? Wow. Oh man. This, this is definitely delicious. So I want to take a little taste. All right, set it aside here. Grab myself some chicken. Mm. Super tender. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. I'm telling you, that homemade Szechuan sauce, big, big flavor. It's got a nice level of spiciness to it, the way I make it. And that's something you can easily control to your own preferred level. So, uh, Boom, that's it guys. That is how you make Szechuan chicken. Super easy, like I said, great for a weeknight meal, any weekend you want to. Um, done in no time. Uh, serve it up over uh, some cooked rice, steamed rice, white rice or brown rice, or uh, toss it with some noodles, extra sauce, make it delicious stir fry. So that's it, Szechuan chicken. I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think. Let me know how spicy you make yours. And uh, uh, that's it. So Mike from Chili Pepper Madness, I will see you next time. All right, see ya, bye.